with day five and he doesn't have a shirt on with day five and i'm making the thug kitchen red lentil and white bean burgers um i have already mixed up everything to make the patties so i'm gonna make the patties stick them in the fridge for about 30 minutes like they recommend before popping them in the oven um to cook so let's see how they turn out okay so here are my patties the recipe said that you should get eight and i only got like half of that because i'm not really counting this one because it's so small but yeah so here they are and i'm about to pop them into the fridge and let them kind of get a little set so this is what i use to make the patties the shape that they are um and this is just a regular burger former or burger shaper I don't know what it's called but my mom got me this um, and I think she got it from Dollar Tree and I know she watches these videos so mom if you could please write in the comments where you found this handy dandy little kitchen gadget I would really appreciate it but yeah this is what I use to form the patties and it makes the best size burgers whether they're meatless burgers or regular old ground beef patties so I'm gonna roast a little corn to go with our burgers in the oven I'm putting everything in the oven at the same time um, so I'm about to pull the patties out of the refrigerator in a minute and I'm also gonna try this mandarin orange crispy chicken garden product because I heard really great things about them um, and I want to see if we'll like it. So I'm going to make this and put it with the couscous from yesterday. What did you say? They're in the refrigerator. So we'll try that too. Okay, so I just pulled the patties out of the refrigerator and they do feel like they firmed up a little bit more. Initially, they were really crumbly and I was afraid of how that was going to work with them, you know, cooking and everything. Um... The recipe didn't call for any egg or anything like that that you would normally put in a burger to kind of keep it together. Like the only thing they told you to use was breadcrumbs and a little bit of olive oil. So that's what I used. Um, so I'm going to pop these in the oven along with the corn. And I guess in about 30 minutes, everything should be done the recipe does say to flip the burgers halfway through and that's a little concerning to, to me seeing as how they are kind of crumbly a little i mean they firmed up some but not quite enough to flip them so hopefully during the cooking process um they'll you know become more of a true a true patty so here we go so this is the way the patties look um, after you take them out of the oven. They are a nice golden brown. I think they held their shape pretty well, although they did crumble a bit when it was time to turn them halfway. Um, but yeah, I think they turned out pretty good. To me, they are a little dry, so I don't know if that means next time I'll do a lower cooking time or what. So I'm gonna add I'm gonna add an egg to my burger just to give it some moisture so it won't be as dry. Um, but that's really the only complaint that I have about them so far, not having tasted them yet, is that I feel like they, you know, are a little a little dry. So here is my finished product. It looks so good, and my husband said they tasted really good. So. Let's see. And here's the couscous from yesterday with some of the Gardein Mandarin chicken. Um, that good. chicken is really, really good. So I'm a new fan and we'll be looking to buy that in bulk.